hi guys Debbie here welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back so I'm super excited for today's video it's with one of my friends here on YouTube the wonderful Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner I'm sure you all know who she is I've collabed with Annette before uh, the very first club that I did was with Annette but never club with her on my own and I reached out to her to ask her if she could fit me into her tight schedule that I know she has for December. She's in the middle of doing a netmas, which is 31 days of uploads on YouTube on her channel, all Christmassy content, countdowns of her palettes of the year, etc. So I wasn't sure if she could fit me in. I asked her a week ago and I said what I wanted to do and she said she could find space for that. So what we're going to do then, we're going to create a Christmassy look that was the only rule so we can use whatever we like and just create the most Christmassy look ever so I thought it'd be nice to not have any rules to worry about and not have to use anything specific and just use the things that we really love in our collections but really let our creativity flow and just make it a bit of a fun one really so so that's what we're going to do and it's really made my Christmas that you said yes and so thank you so so much for saying yes to doing this and for squeezing me in so I can't wait to see what you do but what I've decided I'm going to do is going to be traditionally Christmassy colours. I've got a Sugar Peel Pro Palette. I have three of these actually. And I just mix the colours around with these because they're all loose and you can just pop them out. They're magnetic. So I've put together in this palette the colours that I'm going to use in this eye look. Couldn't get much more Christmassy, I think you'll agree. So the shades I've got in this palette are... Acid Berry, Love Plus, Midori, Kiss Kiss, Money Maker and Taco. So I think I've got everything I need, apart from I wanted a gold in the look. So to achieve that, I've got a pigment, it's called Goldilux and it's by Sugar Pill as well. So I'm going to use that as well. It's uh, very, very finely milled glitter because I don't like to use chunky glitter on my eyes and I know Annette doesn't either. So without further ado, I'm going to scoot you in and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do and have a little chat with you while I do it. So, so that's what we're going to do next. Hey, I've already done my base makeup and a little bit of bronzer, but I've not put my blush and highlight on yet. And I'm going to do that at the end because I've got a special product that's very Christmassy that I want to use for that. But everything else is done and I've primed my eyes with the MAC Painty Paint Pot. And I've also had my brows done today and I think I need to employ this girl full time that's done them because this is the best I've ever seen my brows look and I just think they look so nice today. They'll never look as good again, I don't think. So you're lucky to be seeing them looking nice because they normally look a fright. But I'm going to be using pencils in this look. I'm going to be using three of the Linda Halberg pencils. I've got Anger Mood, the red. I've got Calm Mood, which is the green. And I've got White Core, which is the white. Now... What I'm intending to do, and I've never done it before, is to do that candy cane liner that comes out from the top of your lids. And I'm going to try and use the white and the red pencil to do that. And I'm going to have a green lower lash line, probably a red and white look on the eyes with some gold. Not quite decided. It'll be a cut crease of some description. But... I'm all sparkly, I couldn't get much more festive, so I hope this all works out. A little bit nervous if I'm going to mess it up, but let's just dive in. So I think I'm going to put the liner down first, and then I'm going to very carefully fill in the gaps where I need the shadows to go, because I need to get this liner super opaque, and I think if I put it over the top of the red that I'm going to use in my crease, I might not be able to get it as opaque as I want it. So... Might live to regret this, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the white pencil to do the tail, first of all. So as I say, this is White Core by Linda Halberg. Showing you this might be, might be fun, but basically I'm going to come out from the corner and just give myself a trace of where this white needs to go. And I'm going to make it a really extreme wing. So I don't know if you can see, I've covered like the entirety of my eye space there and then I'm going to take it to about that I don't want it to be a fat wing so I don't want it to cover the whole of my lid so trying to take it backwards to that corner but still keep it quite precise so I thought I'd start with the white because I can map the shape with the white and then I can fill it in later with the shadows because I'm going to set the shape of it with the shadows and I think what I'm going to do is do 
one eye first and then do the other one quickly off camera because this is going to take a while I think to get right okay so that's got the shape of that down I think I might take it actually all the way into the middle all the way into the so basically I've traced the entire shape has ended up going over a lot of my eye space but I think that will be okay now the red pencil is super opaque so I'm not too worried that I'm using the white all over hopefully you can see what I did there it's very difficult for me because I have to pull my lids down to be able to to get to them properly okay so that's the white down so then we need to get some red into this and this is going to be the tricky bit so I'm basically just going to put some stripes across it on top of that white I think it's going to be easier than I thought it's not going to be mega precise but what we've got so far this is gonna work surprisingly not sure how far to take it out I think probably need a couple more stripes but a bit thinner stripes now we've got to the edge okay so that's what we've got so far so I'm just going to scoot you in so you can see so off camera I'm just going to quickly go and do the other eye because you've seen what I've done there it's very hard to show it on camera so I'm just quickly going to do that and then I'll be back with you to carry on with the next step okay so that's both eyes done with the candy cane I think I did this eye way better on camera than I did this one but but it doesn't look too bad for a first attempt so the next thing I'm going to do is, is go in with love plus and build up a little bit of uh, crease with the red so want a very sheer wash of that it's a very pigmented red I'm going to go in with my Clay Doss S2, very light touch of that Love Plus shade, very very light and put that into my crease but slightly sort of above my crease and I've got to be very careful because when I get to the, the candy cane, I don't want to go over the candy cane, I am going to use this shade to set the red that's in the candy cane but just feel like I need a little bit of red in the look in my crease maybe I should have done that first but we'll find out in a moment I've seen a few of these kind of looks on Instagram and I thought they look so complicated to do so I'm probably crazy doing this as a collab but I just wanted to have a go and just see if I could do it and it's good to challenge yourself I think so I have no idea what Annette's going to use or what she's going to do we've not chatted about it since we uh, arranged to do the collab we've not really had a chance to chat we do quite often chat via Instagram but we don't oh we haven't had a chance this week I've been super busy with work and I've not even had a chance to really go on there that much but I've finished work now for the holiday so I'm actually going on holiday I'll go to Gran Canaria on Monday so I'm gonna get this one filmed and maybe another one whilst I'm wearing this makeup and that'll be me until I come back but I have got another really exciting collab pre-filmed that's going up whilst I'm away which I'm really excited for you guys to see and I hope you'll enjoy watching I won't give away who it's with or, or what I'm doing but it's somebody that you probably know if you watch me and Annette that's all I'm going to say and I'm really really excited about it I 
So I'm going in super light handed with this Love Plush shade because it is a really, really pigmented red, but I'm trying to make it sort of sheared out like it's just a, a crease shade for now. And then I'll probably build up a bit more intensity once I've sorted out my, uh, my wing. So far, this is working better than I dared to hope. <laughs> Okay, so I want to set that liner. It does set really well. Linda Halberg liners last all day. They are really, really good. But I think setting it with uh, powder shadow will help. So for the white sections, I'm going to use Taco. And I've got a Linda Halberg 301 brush here. It's a lip brush. So I'm just going to coat the brush with that. And then basically just paint over the lines. Very, very carefully done the white first because then I can be a bit more precise with the red after. So I'm basically just painting into those lines very, very carefully. It's actually made it look a little bit blurry but I think once I've set the red we'll be okay. Taco is a really, really pigmented white. It's the best white that I've come across. I like the one in the Blood Sugar palette as well by Jeffree Star, but I think this one's probably got the edge on that, if I'm honest. Okay, so I've got another one of the same brush, but I don't want to taint it with having the white on it. And I'm going to try and do the same thing that I've just done, but on the red. This is where it gets a bit more tricky. Okay, looking suitably crazy, but I like it. I think it looks all right. Okay, so now I've really got a challenge on my hands because I want to get some green into this look. So I'm going to try and use, I think, Acid Berry. Yeah, I'm going to try and, or should I use Money Maker? Maybe Money Maker. Yeah, I'm going to use Money Maker and then I'm going to use the greens on the lower lash. So I'm going to use Money Maker, which is a shimmer. So in with my Trusty Knits Glitter Primer. But I'm going to need to be really precise because I've only got that tiny little area to go in. So I'm going to use this brush again. It's technically a lip brush. And I'm going to just put that glitter glue in that area. So just above the candy cane, but before the cut crease. I think we can safely say that I don't think Annette will do this. I don't think so anyway. I think what she would actually use. I have no idea. I know she loves Christmas as much as I do. And I pretty much started watching Annette just before Christmas last year. And I remember seeing all of her Christmassy videos and her Christmas music and just really fell in love with her channel during that time. Okay, this could be fun. I'm taking that shimmery colour, the Money Maker shade, and I'm going to need to pull my lid down to give me a clear runner tip. But I'm going to fill in that cut crease area really, really carefully with that colour. Hopefully, you'll be able to see in a moment what I've done. So, that's what I've done. Just filling in just that green it just gives a hint of that green there i didn't put that down first because i didn't think i'd be able to get the white and the red from the candy cane as opaque as i wanted over the top of the shimmer okay i think i've done that okay so it's just got that little hint of green on my lids and I think it adds a certain something to the look without being too crazy. 
Okay, so that's that stage done. So, hmm, I want to get some of the gold into the look. So I think that's going to go just sort of in that part of my inner corner. But I'm going to lay down the Kamu pencil into my waterline and lower lash line as a base. I often do this because it really makes shadows pop to have a coloured base. I think what I'm going to do is a typical Debbie little trick and I'm just going to pull that down just slightly into that inner corner. So I've just given myself that tiny little space there that we can use for that gold. And same thing on the other eye. Okay, so that's the pencil down. And then I'm going to set that with the Midori shade, so that one. I'm going to use a flat definer brush so I can get nice and close to my lashes to set that. So just literally stamping that onto there. I always think if you set a sort of cream or pencil product, it lasts way longer. This is probably the craziest look I've done for YouTube ever, or the most creative at least. But I'm really enjoying doing it. So I'm trying to just feather that up into that liner just slightly, just to create an angle on that corner. Okay, and then I'm going to use Acid Berry to blow that out a bit under my lower lash line. Just got the Kaleidos pencil brush to do that. using a very very light hand just blowing out that shade underneath okay now we're in with the pigment so for the pigment then I've got the smallest little teeny tiny brush here which is my crown and I'm going to use that one to help fill in that shape for the pigment I'm not going to use glitter glue that close to my inner corners so I'm going to pick up a bit of the pigment and then spray it with fix plus and then that's just going as a in a corner highlight just in that little space that we created there. I love these loose shadows and pigments from Sugar Pill, they're like liquid metal on the eyes, they're so pretty. And if you're terrified to use glitter near your eyes, these are perfectly fine, they're so finely milled that there's no glitter particles as such that are going to go in your eyes. So. Right, so that's the look right now. I'm just going to put a bit of highlight on my brow using taco. Now I'm going to have to do that very, very carefully because that, as I say, is a pigmented white. So I've just very lightly touched to it. And I'm using a fluffy brush to apply it. But I just felt I've got a little bit of bare skin there that could benefit from just having a little bit of colour there. I'm also going to intensify that red a little bit. A Linda Halberg 303 brush and I'm just going to bring a bit more red into the look but very close to where we've kind of got that faux cut crease going on with that money maker shade. I'm just doing that very very carefully just packing that over that crease area to bring a little bit more red to the look. Okay so that's the look right now so I'm going to hop off camera do a uh, mascara and choose a lip for the look and I'll be right back with you to show you the finished look for this one. Okay guys so here's the look to this point. <laughs> Couldn't get much more Christmassy I think you will agree. So the lipstick I've used with this is from the lipstick bundle that Anastasia bought out just recently for Black Friday. Had 10 lipsticks in there for £80, absolute bargain. I got this red in it called Chrome Red. And I thought it would be the same as American Doll, but it's much more bright and vivid. It's such a beautiful colour. So happy to use that one. And then I've not quite finished the look because there's one product I want to use. Not used it on camera ever. Got it last Christmas. It's the Pure Grinch Collaboration Palette. And I don't know if you guys ever remember this or you saw it last year, but it's just done in packaging inside as well. It all pops up. It's so gorgeous. The palette comes out and then you've got a colour changing lip balm in the middle but you've got Heart of Who blush and you've got Feeling Frosty highlights. So I'm going to use those because you couldn't get more Christmassy than those. 
this is a properly pigmented blush so I'm gonna have to be ultra careful can you see it's really really pigmented it's lovely but you have to be very careful but I don't think it's gonna matter too much for a look like this it's not like I was going for wearable in any case and it's just such a pretty colour it really helps sculpt your cheeks and give you a flush. It looks like you've been out in the snow or something. So pretty. I'm not too keen on the shadows that are in this palette, but this blush and the highlight are so pretty. So for the highlight, you guys better get ready for this. It is just so beautiful. It's like a yellowy, goldy... Oh, it's just so pretty. If you don't like highlights that you can see from space, this one's not for you. There's no glitter in it though, it is just pure shine and it's just so, so pretty. So I'm going to put a bit on my nose as well, a bit on my chin, a bit on my forehead. I'm super glowy to the gods now and super festive. So how did I do? Is this a festive enough look, do you think? I think I did okay and the wing liner isn't perfect but it was so much fun to create. So I hope you enjoyed watching me do it. Annette, thank you so, so much for everything this year that you've done. You've been such a support to me for my channel since I started it in March. And I can't thank you enough for all your support that you've given me. Thank you for agreeing to do this club. It's been so much fun. I can't wait to see what you've done. I know you'll have created something amazing. You're way more talented than me. So I can't wait to see all the sparkly goodness that's going to be going on on your eyes. But that kind of brings me to the end of this video, guys. If you're new here and you come from Annette's channel, thank you. Thank you for watching this far. If you have then drop me any sort of Christmas emoji in the comments. I'd love to see it. And if you might consider subscribing, I'd love to have you. I do colourful looks, maybe not as crazy as this one, but I do bright colourful looks. I also do neutral looks, but my looks aren't subtle. I can tend to uh, go there with my looks a little bit. And I normally rock them with a bright lip. So if you're down for that and you like to see lots of old school tutorials, old school YouTube is kind of what I do. So if you'd like to see that, monthly hauls, etc. as well, then I'd love, as I say, to have you in my little corner of the internet. But so that brings me to the end of the video. Merry Christmas, guys. Hope you're having a great build up to it. And I've got a couple of videos coming before the new year, so hopefully you might join me for those. But thank you for watching this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!